Hello users! In this video, we are going to introduce you to some useful features of IceWarp Web Client, Email, Calendar, and Contact Management. First of all, let me show you how you can effectively work with email. I go to compose a new message that is really user friendly. You can see several tabs and options to manage new email message. Fill in the email address of recipient into To field manually or click To button to open the address book and select or search the email address form. If you want to CC your BCC someone, just click on the icon next to the To field and CC and BCC boxes will become available. Then put subject and text of the email's body. The text can also be formatted according to your preferences. You can choose whether to send the message formatted as HTML or in plain text, or optionally view the source of the message. Of course, you can send message when ready. You are also able to save message to your draft folder, so you can go back to work on it later time and send it. Attachments can be uploaded from your computer, or you can choose from files that are already uploaded to web client. The popular Smart Attach feature is useful when you want to send large size files. Just click a Smart Attach box and when it turns gray, Smart Attach is enabled. Attachments will then be stored in the web client and recipient will only receive download link. The Options icon gives you another email's options, like ability to request read confirmation, encrypt the message, set message priority or even delay sending of your email, where you can specify time and date when the email should be sent automatically. Second part of webmail that I would like to show you how to work with is Calendar. Calendar will help you with your event management. When you click on the calendar icon, the list of calendars is displayed on the left side and one of the preset views is shown in the main area. You can select the most suitable layout for you and see your calendar either in day, week, month or list view. To create a new event, I go to my calendar and schedule an event for 29th October. There are a couple of ways. I can either click on New in the main menu or right click on the date or time and select New option to open up New Appointment window. Then I can fill in appointment details or modify date and time of the appointment. It is going to be from 8 to 10 a.m. Duration is set automatically. You can set reminder and you can even automatically schedule IceWarp web meeting if you plan to have remote session with attendees of the event. A note for this appointment can be placed here too. Repeating tab offers you ability to set repeating for this event, frequency or count in a days. In the scheduling tab, you can go to browse your address book to add event attendees you want to invite or browse list of resources to reserve any resource you would need for your meeting. The color tabs on the right will show me any conflict that my meeting can have. You can also add documents, spreadsheets and other files directly to the event so members of my meeting get all the information they need right in the event. Sharing your calendar can also be very useful for you. You can let specified people view your calendar and let them create, delete, or change your calendar entries. Right-click your calendar, select Sharing and Permission. Fill in email addresses you want to share calendar with, set permission, and click OK. The selected person will see your calendar within his or her list of shared folders. The third part of today's discussion will be Contacts. This feature allows you to create contacts and resources with details in the clear list. Click the Contacts icon and it will display a list of your contacts and its preview. Preview and Contacts shows you all of the information about the contact, so you don't need to open each contact individually. We also included Show Map button for every contact address. You can find address for the contacts in Google Maps without the need to type anything. Your global address list should be enabled by default to easily add new email recipient or schedule meetings with your team. It is possible to add external contacts into both a global GAL and Group 1. All system users with at least write rights can add external contacts by themselves. Finally, I will show you how to modify settings of web client. Most of the options can be accessed by hovering over your avatar in the upper right corner and clicking the Options button. The Mail tab includes extended setup options for your effective work with email. Below the general settings you can find another important features like Autoresponder, feature announcing that you are on vacation, Forwarder, automatic forwarding your emails to other addresses when you don't have access to web client, or Signature, where you can define default signature which will be applied to all outgoing messages.
In case you are using different types of mobile devices, your emails, calendar, contacts, documents, and tasks can be pushed to your mobile device through the latest version of Exchange Active Sync. If you're used to work with MS Outlook, Outlook Sync enables full synchronization between MS Outlook and iSwarp server, so you can manage your account settings directly from Outlook interface. If you want to learn more about iSwarp web client, just email sales at iSwarp.com. Call 442-031-294-778 or schedule a free walkthrough with one of our product specialists.